I just wanted to do a, a quick video uh, showing you how you can save money on replacement parts. Uh, this is going to be kind of brief. I'm only going to make it about one manufacturer because this is what I, what I have intimate knowledge upon. So I'm not going to talk about any other manufacturer with BMW, but the same rules do apply to other manufacturers regardless of origin. So whether it's German car, American car, uh, Japanese car, all these can apply. For those of you that don't know, I work for a company called FCP Euro. Um, we are an online... Uh, reseller of uh, replacement parts. Uh, what we do is we source components directly from the manufacturer. While we do sell genuine components, we also sell uh, OEM components. The question that I often receive is, what is a you know what's an OEM part, an OES part, uh, or an OE part? Well, OE, OEM, OES, they all stand for the same thing. Basically, it's original equipment or original equipment manufacturer or original equipment supplier. Basically, the company that manufactures the part for the uh, for BMW in this case. So, I have three examples here of three parts that come off my 5 Series and come off of uh, of the M3. So, the first part that I'm going to go through is this reflector from the M3. This is a bumper reflector. I took these off, replaced them with paint match ones, but. Uh, this part normally lists for $25 from BMW. If you walk into a dealership, you're going to pay $25 to buy one of these. Okay? Alright, here's my question to you guys. Who do you think manufactures this part? Is it made by BMW? And if it comes out of a BMW box from the dealer, do you think it's made, do you think, would you consider that to be a genuine part? Well, here's my opinion on this, or here's my take. If you look at the back of this part, You'll see the BMW part number, 63147839043. Right above it, you'll see Hella. For those of you who don't know what Hella is, Hella is a company that basically makes lights, um, headlights, taillights, things like that for BMW. It's also part of another company, well, uh, part of a company called Bear Hella. Bear makes radiators, expansion tanks, radiator caps, uh, basically cooling components. But you'll see a Bear number, 009717-01. Now here's the other side, and it's pretty much the same number except it ends in 02. So that's the Hello part number, and this is the BMW part number on the top. But this component is clearly made by Hella for BMW. And the reason for that is, if BMW was to manufacture every single component that you find on a car that they manufacture, it would you wouldn't the general public would not be able to manufacture or would not be able to purchase the vehicle because the manufacturing cost would be so high. Companies like Hella are specialists in making lighting products. So why would BMW reinvent the whole wheel, or any company reinvent the whole wheel for that matter, when they can just simply subcontract it to somebody else to do it who has the facilities, the staff, and the experience to do it? They wouldn't. You know, BMW would just pay them to do it. And Hella makes these replacement parts for BMW, but Hella also sells replacement parts to the general market. So companies like mine can buy this part directly from Hella, it's the same thing, but it comes out of a Hella box instead of a BMW box, and obviously we can purchase it for significantly less than BMW, and I'll get to why in a minute. All right, here's another famously uh, famous replacement component for BMWs. This is a ABS control module. Uh, this came off my 5 Series. It says Bosch right there, and if you look at the bottom, now keep in mind this has been on the car for 12 years. We can see the original Bosch label. So it's part number 0265950002. Now, I'm going to put the OEM number on the bottom of the screen for you to check it out. Uh, but this part list from BMW, so if you walk into a dealership as a general consumer, it's a $1,300 part. If you buy this from a BMW dealership, it's going to come in a BMW box. Okay? Um, but is it really a genuine part? I, I mean, it's not made by BMW, it's made by Bosch. Uh, now this Bosch number is no longer accurate. It's actually now one two six five nine five zero 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 two, because this was redesigned by Bosch um, due to failures in commonly known items. I mean, this looks like a brand new component, but it, I can assure you that this is old. We, my company FCP, the one the place that I work, uh, we can buy this same component directly from Bosch for. I'm not going to give you the exact price, but it's uh, it's less than a quarter of the MSRP from BMW and uh, when you see these ABS modules sold online under Bosch this is the same component that you would buy from BMW the only difference is that it comes out of a Bosch box not a BMW box does that make it genuine or ungenuine or is an OEM 
or is it in fact just the same component? Now here is a guide link for an E39. Now we can see a BMW stamping right there. Now this came off of a 1997 528. The ball joint was so seized that we had to actually cut it off with an angle grinder. Uh, but you could still see stampings on this component. If you look at that stamp right there, that is Lemforder, which uh, is ZF. So ZF is the heavy metal company for BMW. They make the control arms, they make the struts, they make the shocks, shock mounts. Um, plus, you know, power steering pumps, power steering racks, uh, you name it, they probably make it. Uh, ZF not only made the original equipment for the car, but they also manufacture the replacement parts. So, you know, I'm sure ZF was contracted to make 400,000 of these or whatever. There might have been 30,000 left over from production. BMW sold the rest off as replacement parts. This is really the only thing that you can buy now to replace uh, if you want to stick with original equipment. If it comes out of a Lenforder box versus a BMW box, does it mean the quality is any different or is it in fact the same part? Um, basically, from what I could tell, is it's the exact same part, but once again, you're buying from the company who makes it versus the company that resells it or actually contracted another company to make it for them. So, buying it from companies online who have direct accounts and have the ability to buy these parts from the manufacturer ends up saving you a lot of money and you retain the same stock components that would have come on the car from the factory. But you end up saving yourself a lot of money over what the dealer would charge. Bosch is obviously known for electronics, Hella for lighting, and uh, ZF for heavy metal components. So that's kind of how it works. And uh, hope you learned a little bit on this video. And uh, whenever you need to buy replacement parts, just remember, um, this information we pretty much found on the vehicle. It's not hidden who makes these parts. These are original labels. So if you're ever uh, unsure, just look at what the original stamp shows. Thanks for watching. Uh, got a lot of videos coming up with the 5 Series, plus Springs coming back. So car shows will be, uh, will be happening. And uh, we'll see you soon.